Hello and welcome to Novaro Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video you'll learn how to use 3D transforms in Adobe XD. Now if you're familiar with Adobe XD then uh, you'll know that you can't do 3D transforms unless you have the October 2020 version of the app. Uh, this marked the three-year anniversary of XD and it came with a couple of uh, very cool new features. One of which being the ability to transform objects in 3D. So let's see how it works and where you should use it. I've prepared a, a very simple demo in XD. I have a component, a card basically that has an image, some text, a price and a button. Now, you'll notice right away that when you select an element, in this uh, inspector panel on the right side under transform, you'll see a new icon. And when you click it, it actually says 3D transforms when you hover over it. Uh, when you click it, you get some additional controls here. And this is for rotation on the X, Y, and Z axes. Also, you'll notice that you have three new handles on the object. Uh, Adobe also calls these uh, gizmos. So you have one gizmo that you can click and then drag with your mouse to rotate it like this. This basically rotates it on the Y axis. Then you have another one on the top that rotates like this. This is the rotation on the X axis. And then you have the one in the middle that you can click and drag to bring this to the front or to the back. And you can also move your mouse while you're doing this to establish whatever depth you want for this element. That's pretty cool, isn't it? This is uh, the transform on the Z axis. And you'll notice that as I'm changing these values, they will also change right here in the inspector panel. And if I want to, I can even set uh, these values manually. So let's say I want zero here, zero here is just going to take me back to my original position. Now you can also do this by holding down shift and it's going to do the transform using a 15 degree increment. Right, you can turn it uh, uh, on the other side and you can do the same vertically. Again, holding down shift will do this in increments of 15 degrees, as you can see right here. And you can, of course, input these values manually. Now, when you click this uh, button again, it doesn't remove the 3D transformation. Instead, it just hides those controls. Uh, you also have a keyboard shortcut for this. It's Command on a, uh, on a Mac or Control on Windows plus the letter T. So Command T, in my case, brings back those uh, 3D transform uh, controls or, uh, or gizmos. Now, if at any point you want to return to its original position, you can right-click on an element and uh, choose Reset 3D Transforms or press Option Command T. And that's gonna remove any transformation that you applied to this element. Now, let's say you have multiple elements. So let's create a repeat grid. Three elements should do just fine. So with the repeat grid selected, you can do the same thing. You can rotate the elements, but notice they will be rotated all at once, or you can select an individual element and rotate that. In which case, because it's a repeat grid, the elements will be rotated along with it. And that makes it super simple to create this kind of layout that you can use
the repeat grid like so. Now, let's go ahead and um, ungroup our grid so we can have access to the individual elements. Now what I can do is I can change the order of these elements so that they'll be positioned one behind the other. Now, while in 3D transformation mode, every single element is still editable. So for example, I can change the images on these elements. I have some images prepared here. I can simply click and drag. Oh, that's the same one, actually. Let's do that. All right, I can change the text. And notice as soon as I complete my change, my edit, and I click outside, right, the 3D transform is applied once again. Now, elements that have a 3D transform applied to them can be aligned just like any other element. So if I want to position these like uh, distribute the space between them equally, I can just select all of them and I can click distribute horizontally or distribute vertically, it doesn't really matter. XD will do the calculations automatically. Now, 3D transforms also work with uh, scroll groups. And as you saw earlier, they also work with repeat grid. Something that I'm actually very excited about is the fact that 3D transforms work with auto animate. So let me give you a quick demo of that. I'm going to copy um, these three elements and I'm going to create some artboards for them. Just some uh, some random artboards. It, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to keep one here and let me just ungroup it. Let me just align it like so and copy that artboard. Okay, so now let's duplicate. And I'm going to use the artboards like so. I'm essentially going to place uh, each uh, each element, excuse me, not artboard. So each element in its own artboard. And I'm just going to align them like so. Uh, this one, I'm actually going to reset its transforms. And I'm going to use the gizmos to give it a 30 degree rotation on the Y axis. This I'm going to uh, reset. I'm actually going to ungroup it first and then reset its transforms. And this one, I'm going to leave it just like that. So now we can go to the prototype and I can click this. I can create an interaction. Uh, the trigger is going to be tap, type. I'm going to select auto animate. It's going to artboard two, easing. We can select ease in and out, for example and duration maybe, I don't know, point, point 0.4 seconds should do the trick. I'm going to select this one and link to the third artboard. Basically going to have the exact same um, properties here. And I'm going to select this one and I'm going to link back to the first artboard. And I'm going to select artboard uh, one as the home. So now, if we open up the preview, you'll see that when I click this, that's going to auto animate and make a smooth transition to the next element. How cool is that? And of course, you can play around with, uh, with the various transitions to create some very cool uh, animations with uh, 3D transforms. Now, how you use these is uh, is really up to you. Here I just gave you an example with uh, three cards, but you can, for example, create a pricing table where uh, this one will be placed something like this, maybe at 30 degrees like there, like so. This one like that, maybe bring them a little bit closer like so. Let me do a little bit of distribute and 
you know, you can bring this to the front, maybe something like this. And you can have like the most popular pricing plan here and then two others right there. Let me actually uh, zoom in a little bit here. And you can also play around with these. Maybe 30 degrees is too much. Maybe 15 degrees is the amount you're looking for, right? And you can position these any way that you want. So pricing table, that's one example. You can also do like a carousel, a slider of elements. It's really up to you. The functionality is now in XD starting with the, uh, with the uh, October 2020 update. So make sure uh, to get that update uh, to be able to benefit from this feature. All right, and that's how you can use 3D transforms in Adobe XD. Pretty cool, right? It's very easy to use and it can add great value to, uh, to a design. So thank you for watching this uh, tutorial. I'm Adi Pordilla and until next time, take care.